Hey everyone, Dr. Nungle here. So, have you ever wondered that uh, how many types of uh, lipases that we have in our body? I always wanted to make a video on list of lipases that uh, we have in our body. So, so far I have uh, so far I have come across nine lipases in our body. So, in this video, I'm going to explain you all those nine lipases, where they are coming from, and what is the job of those lipases in our body. Now our first lipase is a lingual lipase. This lingual lipase it is synthesized and secreted by serous glands present in the tongue and it will be uh, it will get into the saliva and this lingual lipase is a acid stable enzyme that means lingual lipase will work in the stomach acidic media present in the stomach. Lingual lipases are very specific for short and medium chain fatty acids present in the triacyl glycerol of our food. So, lingual lipase is a acid stable enzyme. Our next lipase is a gastric lipase. Second enzyme is a gastric lipase here. Now, the gastric lipase it is synthesized and secreted by chief cells of the gastric glands. And gastric lipase is again an acid stable enzyme and it is going to act on short and medium chain fatty acids present attached to triacyl glycerol present in the food. So it means we have two acid stable lipases, one is a lingual lipase, other is the gastric lipase. Our third lipase is pancreatic lipase and I am going to explain pancreatic lipase along with uh, another pancreatic lipase called pancreatic colipase. Now the pancreatic lipase along with pancreatic colipase, so it is going to act on uh, short chain, medium chain and long chain fatty acids attached to triacyl glycerol present in the food. But the only thing is uh, pancreatic lipase along with the colipase, it is going to act on the fatty acids attached to the first carbon and the third carbon to have uh, triacyl glycerol. It is not going to release fatty acid attached to the second carbon. So, why do you, why pancreatic lipase needs colipase here? Because pancreatic lipase, it has got an inhibitory effect by bile acids and bile salts present over the chylomicron. So the pancreatic colipase, it is going to take out the inhibitory effect of bile acids and bile salts so that pancreatic lipase can work. So that is why a pancreas, it is going to secrete pancreatic lipase along with the colipase in 1 is to 1 molar ratio. In fact, we have one more colipase that is the pancreatic procolipase. So, pancreatic colipase, it will come in as pancreatic procolipase and pancreatic, pancreatic procolipase, it will be activated into pancreatic colipase done by trypsin. So, pancreas, in fact, it releases pancreatic colipase as pancreatic procolipase. So, it will be activated into pancreatic colipase by a trypsin, enzyme trypsin. Now, our next enzyme is hormone sensitive lipase. Now, the hormone sensitive lipase, it is uh, activated by glucagon and epinephrine hormones and hormone sensitive lipase, it is going to break down a triacyl glycerol present in the adipose tissue into uh, mono, uh, diacyl glycerol and diacyl glycerol into monoacyl glycerol releasing uh, free fatty acids. Now, when the triacyl glycerol is converted into monoacyl glycerol in the adipose tissue, we have another uh, lipase here that is monoacyl glycerol lipase, which is written as mag lipase. Now, the monoacyl glycerol lipase, it will break down monoacyl glycerol into glycerol plus free fatty acid. Our next lipase is adipose tissue triacyl glycerol lipase. Now this adipose tissue triacyl glycerol lipase, it is induced and activated by cortisol. So the cortisol is known to induce and activate adipose tissue triacyl glycerol lipase and it is going to break down uh, triacyl glycerol present in the adipose tissue into free fatty acid and a glycerol molecule. Our next lipase is lipoprotein lipase. Now the lipoprotein lipase enzyme, it is going to break down a triacyl glycerol present in the lipoprotein, especially chylomicrons and VLDL, both are rich in triacyl glycerol. So the triacyl glycerol present in chylomicron and VLDL, so it will be broken down into free fatty acid and glycerol 
by lipoprotein lipase and this lipoprotein lipase it will be present on the endothelium of the blood vessel attached with the help of heparin sulfate. So this is an endothelial uh, membrane located enzyme. Our uh, last lipase is hepatic lipase. Now the hepatic lipase is attached to the hepatic sinusoids and hepatic lipase it is going to break down triacylglycerol present in the ideal that is intermediate density lipoprotein and convert intermediate density lipoprotein into low density lipoprotein by removing triacylglycerol in that. Another function of hepatic lipase present over hepatocyte is it is going to convert HDL2 that is HDL high density lipoprotein type 2 into high density lipoprotein type 3. So HDL2 is converted to HDL3 after the degradation of triacylglycerol present in HDL2 and that's when it is converted into HDL3 molecule done by hepatic lipase enzyme. Now, these are all the lipases that I know so far. So, if you know more lipases, so kindly let me know in the comment section below. And also, let me just uh, quickly uh, put all these lipases together. So, we have lingual lipase, gastric lipase, pancreatic lipase. We have pancreatic colipase, which is coming in as pancreatic procolipase. And then hormone sensitive lipase, monoacylglycerol lipase, adipose tissue triacylglycerol lipase, lipoprotein lipase and hepatic lipase. So there are 9 lipases plus 1 that is procolipase. So in fact there are 10 lipases here. So this is all about uh, uh, different types of lipases. I hope this video has helped you in recollecting all uh, different types of lipases and also to recollect all the um, uh, concepts related with these lipases. So make sure you click the subscription button down there so that you get uh, regular updates whenever I make a new video and also make sure to check out my all the other videos in my playlist so that if you find some of them are uh, useful or if you need some of those videos to understand some of the concepts in uh, wide history. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in my next video. Till then, you do take care.